It's a story we've been following for more than two months now. A Cape Coral woman living off the grid without electricity or water service by choice. The city tagging her home with a notice to vacate the day after our story detailing her lifestyle aired. And we've been asking the city which codes exactly she's accused of violating ever since this. Four in your corner, Liza Fernandez. Joining us now, finally, with the city's answer, Liza, after a lot of asking. Patrick, more than two months after Cape Coral Code Enforcement Officers tagged Robin Sparona's home with that notice to vacate, the city has now done its homework and served Sparona's attorney with this amended complaint. The next stop, though, seems to be the courthouse. They're definitely taking a second shot at this. This five page amended violation notice, much more detailed than the original notice to vacate placard the city posted on Sparona's home more than two months ago. I don't know that their second shot is their best shot. In the revised notice, the city cites a combination of international property maintenance code along with its own ordinances, which Sparona's attorney says don't jibe. What is a private water system? That's not defined in, in either code, but if one code accepts it, then they shouldn't. The other shouldn't negate the ability to have one. Do you think that um, Ms. Bronis water system qualifies as a pro private water system? Well, without some sort of way of measuring what the code says is a private water system, I can't make that determination. The city also citing code that states the facilities in a home shall be connected to running water. Then again, what is running water? Is it through a private water system or is it something that we can heat through a solar panel and, and pump through? Uh, you know, a faucet. It says every building should be provided an electrical system, should be provided one. This building has one. All's quiet out in front of Sparona's home this day. The city of Cape Coral responding to our request for comment in an email saying the official service of this notice affords Sparona's the same due process it would any other citizen. What's more, the notice states the violations must be fixed in five days or risk a fine of $1,000 per day. Right now, the government's trying to invade Ms. Sparona's lifestyle and dictate how she lives. And that's what our founding fathers fought against. Sparona's attorney says his client has no intention, uh, intention of paying a fine, instead going to a hearing in front of a magistrate. That's scheduled for February 20th. Live in the studio, Liza Fernandez, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, Liza, now we want to know, do you agree or disagree with the city's outline of what they see as broken code enforcement rules here? And have you had any experiences with code enforcement that you feel were fair or unfair? Please tell us right now, 239-206-FOX4.